Sometimes somebody makes a tool and you're just like, dang, that's just really neat. Well, our buddy Jake Whip just came out with a template pack called the Editor Collection. And it's a little different than some Resolve templates that I've seen. It's not so much like a drag and drop template, but an extended toolbox for Resolve. I jumped on a call with him recently and he walked me through some of his favorite features and I wanna share that with you. So if you were gonna describe it in like a couple sentences, what is the editor collection? It's a, it's a pack of DaVinci Resolve tools that's designed to streamline your workflow. Um, and level up your production quality while also saving you time. Especially people who do YouTube work, it's gonna, it's gonna be great for. Uh, but even people that just use DaVinci Resolve professionally for commercial work, whatever that might be. Because again, it has stuff that's, that's for both avenues. Uh, whether it be text animation, zooming in, subscribe animations. Mm, yeah. Wonderful. Well, it sounds great, man. I, I'm excited to dive in. Will you show us a little bit of uh, a couple of the features? So all of the editor collection tools are found in the effects library. Uh, there's a couple video transitions, titles, generators, and effects. So there's different different tools in each category. Uh, I'm going to start in the generators, so I can come right down to the editor collection here, and we got a bunch of different options. One of the really cool things is for some of them, there's both a generator version and an effect version. Um, and this came out just recently in DaVinci Resolve mm. that it allows you, if you have some sort of fusion composition, you can grab all the media that's below it. So what that allows you to do is apply the same effect over multiple clips, even if there's like cut in between it. So that's where the, the generator versions come in. Oh. Um, so let's take a look at this whip zoom one right here. This is, this is honestly one of my favorites. When we drag it down above any of our clips, you can just hit play and it's just gonna zoom into a spot on the screen. Simple as that. And then at the end, it just, it just zooms out like that. The nice thing about all of the editor collection cool. tools is they're fully retimable. Like I, I can drag this out to be as long or as short as I want and it's gonna update all the animations so it animates in at the beginning and then animates back out at the very end of the clip. Nice. Click on any of them in the inspector, we have a ton of different controls. So the first one with the zoom is the type of zoom. The standard is the one that zooms in at the beginning and out at the end. But continuous is really cool because if you want to create sort of a dynamic zoom type effect that just has a, a slow zoom in throughout the, the entire clip, you can do that. And down below, we have the option to change where it actually zooms into, how far it's going to zoom in, all of that stuff. That seems like a really awesome way to kind of add that that like stylistic like I, I i love that whip zoom kind of idea the just like the whoosh and that's kind of annoying to keyframe yourself even though it's sort of simple and so to be able to just drag something down that's really nice yep one of the things i see all the time nowadays like especially on shorts you notice like right when it starts like someone you either zoom into the screen or it zooms out just to give that that energy to start it off mm. and you can create that super easy with this um so if it's on the standard zoom under animation we have the option to turn off or on the in and out animations. Mm. So that means if I uncheck this box, it's already gonna be animated in at the beginning. So we can start zoomed in. Nice. The other thing that you can do is change how long that animation takes. So if you want, you can make this super short. So that way at the beginning, it zooms in right away and gives you that, that kind of short style that people use all the time in yeah. editing now. Man, that's a huge time saver. Um, and speaking of time savers, motion blur. Uh, if you've used DaVinci Resolve templates before, you know, it's just, it tanks mm. your system. Um, it, it can be really slow. So all of the motion blurs inside the editor collection, uh, I kind of like to call it intelligent motion blur just to, to put a fun name to it. What it's going to do is only render motion blur when it's actually animating. So in this case, the animation is eight frames long um, with the animation length slider. So it's only going to render motion blur for the first eight frames and the last eight frames. So that way, if your clip is this long, it's going to save you a ton of time when it comes to rendering. Wow. It. That's really cool. I don't know. I don't know if a lot of other templates and, and plugins do that necessarily, but I don't I, I don't know. But that sounds like a man. That's a really smart thing to do. That's awesome. Yep. I, I hope most like more templates start implementing this feature, because, again, like if you have a title that's on your screen for 10 minutes and it's only animating for 30 frames on both sides, like your render time yeah. is crazy. So with whip zoom, one of the other really cool features is it can be combined with another one of my tools. So let's say I take the pivot and I put it down uh, at the body of the guitar here. So it zooms in right down there. If I come maybe a few seconds forward and split the clip mm -hmm. to, to shorten it, I can turn off the out animation 
so that way it doesn't animate out. And I can grab my whip pivot tool. And if I bring this right at the edge, what I can do is change where this is zoomed in at. So all you have to do is copy the settings between the two. So the, it's, I just copy the X and then do the same thing with the Y. And now when I hit play, it's gonna move to a different spot on the screen. And of course I can change where that's at just using, using these controls. Wow. That's really cool. And from like the like tutorial standpoint, what I use this for is let's say I want to zoom in up to the inspector. Mm -hmm. And then without zooming out, I can move all the way across the screen over to the yeah. effects library or something along those lines. Yeah. Man, that's great for yeah, showing showing specific little features, you know, zooming in, man, because again, it's like that's that's one of those things that yeah, you can animate it yourself, but man, it saves a lot of time just to be able to just dial it in. That's great. Yep. Absolutely. So in the in the title section of the editor collection, one of my favorites is this whip text tool. Uh, so I refer to this one as the text plus node on mm. steroids or the text plus tool. Because what it does is, again, it has all those same controls, but it's all animated or it allows you to animate it really easy. So right away, it just has a simple zoom up and uh, fade in and scale. So it's got a couple of animations going on. In the inspector, we can see all of our controls, like our size, the tracking, the position. But the really cool thing is it has an animate checkbox next to mm -hmm. it. So if I turn all these off, it's not going to have any animation. Right now, the, the fade's on. But if I want to animate something, all I have to do is check the box. And then I can change what the scale of it is. So if I bring the start size way up, it's going to zoom down, mm -hmm. just like that. So it's a really easy way to make make text animations right on the edit page. That's really cool. I love that this is, it's, it's a tool that's, it's designed to be customized. You know, it's, it's more of a general, like, it, it feels like a tool that should be like built in rather than here's a template that has a specific kind of style that, you know, you might have to undo if it's not quite what you want. Exactly. Yep. And one of the things that I think really is going to blow your mind is have you ever played around with the follower modifier uh, mm -hmm. inside of fusion yeah. can be kind of clunky at some times because you have to animate it to be able to you know see what the control does this one all you have to do is check a box and now it has a follower animation wow it took it took the same animation that we created but then just added a delay between the characters that's really cool man yep and we can do that for any of the controls so for example if i have the follower on i can come come down to the position instead of the size and I can have this animate up instead. Wow. Just like Dang. that. Yeah. Another really cool thing about this one is I also added the option uh, to change what the out animation is. So right now it's, it's set to mirror out. So that means it's going to do the, the reverse on mm -hmm. the out animation. So in this case it slides up at the end, it's going to slide down. But if I turn that off back on the controls tab, it's going to add an end offset. So I could drag that up. So that way it does the reverse at the end. Whoa, that's really smart. Dang. So again, the whole thing is just built to streamline your workflow. Like you're still going to need to use the normal text plus node if you want to get a very specific animation that's like super yeah. customized. But this solves most of the text animations that, that most people wow. would do. Man, that's awesome. All right. You want to show us like one more kind of tool maybe? I know there's I know there's a ton in this pack. Another really cool text tool that we have is the whip chapter tool. Uh, what this allows you to do is splash up bullet points or talking points that you might have throughout your video. So you can do anywhere from one to up to nine labels on the screen. And when you change the slider, it adds in a bunch of different text boxes. So you can change what they actually say. Under the style tab, we can add stuff like a underlay to help it stand out from the background a little bit more and change all the settings like that just to add that little bit of a contrast and, and separation. And one of the really cool things is under the animation tab, we can change the animation overlap. So zero means it's going to animate one at a time. And if we drag this all the way up to one, that means they're all going to animate at exactly the same speed. The really cool thing is if we drag that down just a little bit, so now they're just all slightly offset, but also all animating at the same wow. time. Yeah, man, that's really nice. It also has an option to animate each one individually. And another cool thing to mention is I have tutorials and walkthroughs for each one of these templates on my website too. Man, that's uh that seems like it'd be really useful, especially for, you know, informational kind of content. I mean, educational stuff, um, having those labels. I mean, just literally making just even the static version of what we're looking at right now 
would take a long time and you'd really have to know what you're doing. Probably in Fusion, you know, um, you could probably build it on the edit page, but it'd be annoying. <laughs> and to have that all animated and customizable, man, that's just, that's excellent. Excellent work, man. Well, thank you. And uh, one that I have to throw in uh, just, just for the joke is I made a whip pan transition. Yeah, I mean, you have to, you, um, you can't not. So I, I have to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so if I show you that here, you can just drag it right on. And now we have a whip pan transition. There you go. Super simple. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome, man. So if people want to check out the editor collection, where do, where do they go? Uh, I have a website. It's whiptemplates.com. And of course, it's W-I-P-P templates.com. Awesome. And, and how many, like, what do they get when they get this, this, uh, this collection? All right. So when you invest in editor collection, you get 19 different tools and there are some duplicates too. So there's two versions of some tools. So I think in, in total, it's closer to 25, some templates. Those are all designed to be really useful, kind of more of the, the general tools, which that's, that's the kind of thing that I like, you know, um, I don't want a bunch of templates that have a specific style that might not really match what I'm trying to do. I want, I want tools that I can customize easily and make it fit exactly what I want for my video. And that, I mean, this is obviously designed by somebody who does the work, <laughs> you know, and adds these kind of things to their videos all the time, man. So I'm really excited for what you've brought to the community, man. This is, uh, this is, I think going to be really cool. Mm -hmm. And one other thing that you get when you, when you invest is free lifetime updates. Like I've already added a new template to the pack and everyone who's invested in it is able to get that. So, yep. Man, very cool. Big fan of that. Big fan of that. That's awesome. Awesome. Well, any anything else anybody needs to know? Uh, I think that about covers it. I have a full video walking through on my, on my website that you can check out. But yeah, other than that. Man, wonderful. Well, hey, uh, Jake, thank you so much for showing us these templates, man. I'm really excited to uh, dive in and use some of them uh, myself for for our team, as well as uh, see what amazing things that the uh, that our audiences are going to build with this. This is so neat. Well, thanks for having me and allowing me to show off the tool. Big thanks to Jake for jumping on a call with me and sharing what he's made. And yeah, big thanks to Jake for making stuff like this, man. This is the kind of thing that the community needs. Just these really quick rendering, well-designed tools that make it easy to create what you want to make. So if you're interested in editor collection, make sure to check that out. There is a link in the description below. Big fan of Jake Whip. This guy is doing some really cool stuff. So make sure to go and sub to his channel if you haven't. Check out those templates. And uh, yeah, that, that's uh, that's all I that's all I got for you. I'm just I'm just I'm just proud of our friend, and I'm proud to be friends with him. And I don't know, you know, <laughs> it's just this is just a great day. <laughs>